technically, if you move, you're saving $46,000. $466.40. Mr. DeVito. Uh, to the city attorney, um, is, is this under the authority of the mayor to execute a move to a new facility? Does it require council's okay? Uh, the technical move would be an executive decision. The budgetary part of it is a council decision. If her figures are right and she's saving money, it's something the executive probably could do without council approval. Mr. Bringer? Does that mean Mr. Matt would lose a job or? He, half of his salary is paid by county and half of it is paid by city. Would he still have his job with the county or does that get deleted too? Th that's up to county whether they would okay. want to keep that or not. And it, it's up it. to the next administration. I'm not asking right. for anything to be done at this table, but it's coming, and it's coming quickly because as of the 15th of next month, our contract on our office spaces downstairs are up. We're already out of this parking lot. So it's not something that we can just totally ignore. It needs to be made known to the public. Have they made the final decision on not renegotiating a lease contract with us? or? Um, no, I believe they do want to renegotiate. They want to renegotiate for a substantially higher rate, plus they want to make the city completely responsible for the underground, which means that we will be taking city tax money and paying for county property, and I don't think that's legal. Mr. Vito? Um, I, I just think this is the best idea in the years that I've served on city council. This, for no other reason, than to make City Hall ADA compliant is reason to do this. And I felt like the redheaded stepchild not having a city, not having our own City Hall. I mean, these file cabinets are here because the county placed them in their property. I don't know whether there was regard to us as city council or not. But you saw how hard it was to get a half a dozen people in here tonight. Uh, you know, and who's to say that the longer we stay here, there's not going to be more file cabinets. If court has a jury down here, we're out of here. We don't have authority over our own council chambers. We don't even have a city hall that we can call our own in the, our own city. And what, what is occurring here is, is such a great coming together of things that we have the new transit facility at the top of Planer Hill, which allows some of the transit department to move in there, freeing up space that could allow City Hall to move into that facility with plenty of parking, with ADA compliance. And that's the big issue here, is that we're not ADA compliant. The other thing is, we're not paying money to the county. We're paying money to our own transit department. That's money that stays in city. We've already had a discussion about you know money going outside of the city. Well, our money goes outside of the city to the county. And we are at their mercy in our own council chambers. I mean, we've, we've had how many spaces that people could sit here uh, as guests of ours removed in the last few years. So. Uh, I just think this is an exceptional opportunity for the city. It gives us authority over our own council chambers, over our own city hall in a new building. Uh, it, it makes us more accessible to the city. It gets us out from under the thumb of the county. I mean, we're at their mercy here as a tenant in the middle of our own city. And I feel that we have an opportunity to make this move. This is the best thing I've seen in in all the years I've been here, and this is something we need to do. And then, quite frankly, I'm ready to do it tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Ms. Seller? Oh, I'd like to point out also that uh, the county is going to have to put an elevator in this building if they are want to use it for county because it's not ADA appliant. Uh, the feds are going to get on their back, and they're going to have to put an elevator in. I mean, they know that. will have nothing to do with it. They are, will be completely responsible when the parking lot caves in, which it is going to do next to the auditorium. We all know that. They're going to have to fix it. 
and uh, I can't see any downside to this. They're going to have to keep this building open for county offices because uh, according to law they're not allowed to close it. It takes an act of the legislature and they're going to have to keep the office for the marriage licenses open because they get too much revenue. So I don't see any downside to this. Mr. Brown? Could be someone a blessing in disguise. The only thing that wasn't brought up is the um, new administration will have to think about the live feed for actual city council meetings which is a $30,000 budget expenditure. Um, I have no problem, even though I'm not going to be here next year, I have no problem with City Hall being up at transit, especially since it would be more accessible for people to get in and out of. Um, the new council will just have to decide whether, if they do make the move, do they still want to have live feed broadcast. So that's something you guys have to think about next year when that comes up. But yeah, that is 30000 <coughs> yeah. and really by the time you do, there's going to have to be a little bit of construction to add in some walls up there to make some separate some offices out so by the time that you do all that the first year is basically a wash what you're going to save you're going to end up spending having to get everything ready up there but after that then you save forty thousand plus a year I mean, if we had to vote tonight i'd go ahead and say move you know and then let the new administration figure out if they want live broadcast so. Ms. schneider um a couple of things a move to our own building so to speak we're paying ourselves. We're paying transit, but we're paying ourselves. Do we have to pay a certain approved amount for that, or could it be like the token one dollar you always have in the movies for rent? It, from what I understand, from when I talked to the municipal league earlier, you do have to pay in according to the the going per square foot rate, because it's not simply a just a city-owned building because it was built with grant money coming from the federal and the state governments, then that puts it in a whole different category. Now, is that going rate for the state, the country, our area? No, specific? that's actually going rate for our area, and it's a cheaper going rate than our area is at. Huh? <laughs> it's oh. the cheap end of oh, it. Oh, okay, okay. So the, the next thing is... Um, <sighs> been following this court for a while. No offense, Morris. You deal with a lot of idiots, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. What are they going to do? Fire me? <laughs> there I goes mean, the newspaper. <laughs> yeah. Go for it, Carrie. I am calling the majority we already got fired, so. idiots. <laughs> <sighs> they, want, they refuse to pay attention to the numbers. They refuse to believe them. So... Well, screw you. You either pay us more or we're taking it back. Fine, take it back. And the list goes on of how much they're going to lose. And it's over their heads. They don't care. It's the county who's going to suffer because of these idiots is what it comes down to. I say sink or swim, shove them off, have at it, guys. No, you don't get a lifesaver. We're out of here. We can do so much better on our own. Everything James said is right on. Um, I would really, 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 really miss being in the historic courthouse. And whether legislature changes anything or not, I don't believe was looked into. I don't believe they can sell the building because it's a historic building. Mm -hmm. It's listed on the register. They can't do anything but let it be a courthouse type thing. Um, they're going to have a ton of expenses with no income, and it's their own damn fault. Go for it. Uh, I mean, really, I would love at some point to have our own courthouse back for us only. Um, I don't know if this is the appropriate thing, but I would like to direct our mayor to go to the quorum court and give them a litany, let them know what they're in for, and maybe even a counteroffer of a lesser rent us paying a lesser rent when they realize how screwed they are? We don't want to be in this building. <laughs> <laughs> we want this building. Huh? Even when they realize they're going to be paying out the nose with no income. Okay. He's right. Okay. Well, I would still like to direct our mayor to go and make a last stand, an informational one, letting them know what they're letting themselves in for and then going, neener, neener.
<laughs> if they're going to shoot themselves in the foot, why should we do anything to prevent it? Well, oh, that's what I'm saying. It wouldn't be, but they would be.